Hey everyone, so in my last video when I was showing off my revised and reserved list bulk stuff, uh, I had a lot of comments um, saying throw it up on eBay or start selling, let's get going. So that is kind of what I'm doing right now. And uh, I want to test a theory. Uh, I'm going to start off uh, making a lot on eBay with uh, basically one of everything, a um, couple hundred cards. Um, <clears throat> just show it off as is and let the market decide what this stuff is worth. Be up front, say, hey, this stuff is heavily played or moderately played. Some of it's not so bad. Take a look. Give me what you want. And uh, let that go to auction and see how it goes. Um, and then compare that basically to what a buy list would be. Because for me, to run through 11,000 cards um, on eBay, we're talking about you know 50 or 60 auctions um, over time. Um, and maybe that's the way to go. This stuff will fluctuate probably down and then maybe back up at some point who knows I can let the market decide or I can just try to get this stuff going and see if it's worth my while to just send it all at once uh, more or less um, but right now I'm just gonna run through and grab like one of everything and start making up a lot and uh, I'll let you take a look at what that's gonna look like right here Okay, so I got a stack of revised here. I'm actually going to scan this up and just compare it. I'll th run it through the buy list at Card Kingdom and see what I might be able to expect from, from this and then compare that to what I might be able to expect from a eBay listing and maybe just move forward from there. Okay, so first off what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan these all in and see what you know a full TCG player price is, would be and then uh, run it through the, the buy list and see if I'm anywhere close to where I'd like to be. Um, it sure is easier to send stuff to a buy list than it is to deal with endless um, you know, eBay auctions. So that's definitely like a consideration for me. My time is super limited for dealing with a lot of this stuff anymore. I'm very busy with work and home. So I have to take that stuff into consideration. Okay, looking at 67 cards here with a near mint value kind of high, obviously, of 205 bucks. Um, <clears throat> let's say I would love to get an average of $2 per card, I think. That's uh, probably really pushing it. Um, <clears throat> if I could get you know a buck 50 or so might be a little more realistic on ebay but then we're talking about fees and uh and shipping so let's take this list and run it through card kingdoms buy list and see how close are we to that that goal of an average of a buck 50. all right here we are at the card kingdom import for uh the buy list now we're gonna browse for a uh File here, CSV file. We're gonna parse it by columns. The title. This is the edition, and if it's full or not, we'll see here. Um, they're showing for 67, and these are these are near mint prices. They will offer 
$62, so just under a dollar um, for these. So good to know, but I'm gonna see if I can try to do a little better than that. Even like, this is interesting though, like a cockatrice, they'll actually give you a dollar for that card now at this point. Contract from below is 440, pretty decent uh, as a buy list price. Um, with these cards being in moderate play and heavy play, um, they're going to reduce the um, uh, this offer price uh, by quite a bit, probably 50%. Some of them, if they end up there and they, they determine them to be below good, they'll send them right back to me and they won't give me any money for it. Um, this would be nice and easy. Honestly, a really quick way for me to cash in on this, um, <clears throat> especially considering my cost basis of essentially zero. Uh, I could turn around and sell 11,000 cards for about $11,000 pretty good uh, I'm gonna try to at least throw this onto eBay and see how I do on that <clears throat> so we'll see Let, let's see if there was any other big standouts here granite gargoyle 395 so they don't have the confidence that the TCG player price of like 30 bucks um, is anywhere close to that but they are coming up definitely where this card you know a few months ago they might have offered you 50 cents for it so um, you got a JMDA Tome at 225 buck here 95 cents here rock hydra four bucks is another one that has like a high mid value price so anyway that is a pretty good option um, basically yeah i wouldn't make eleven thousand i'd make like five thousand or six thousand still pretty decent right so uh i'm going to throw this on ebay and we'll see how that does so first thing I have to do is lay these all out and take pictures of them. So I will get a white background so I can do that. Um, kind of find that if I put them out in like groups of nine, like you would do like, you know, folder pockets um, that they kind of end up looking okay on the, the eBay page. I want to put out kind of my good ones here. Uh, get for the first picture on the, the eBay listing get the potential buyers all excited um, you guys will know <laughs> that I um, didn't pay much for these but uh, bidders on eBay might not be aware of my channel and so they'll be Hopefully interested to see these being all caught up in the reserve list and revised card hype and we'll just see what we can get for this this listing so if I can get more than more than 60 bucks for it I'm feel like I'm winning so let's see if we can do that All right, there's all my pictures, and I will then go about adding this to an eBay listing. Uh, link down below if you want to check it out. Give it a watch, see how it ends up at the end of the week. Um, if you're interested, go ahead and bid on it. Um, uh, let's see how it goes. If I can do better than a dollar each, then that's a pretty big win in my book, I think. Um, averaged out across all this stuff. Uh, hoping for more like $2. Let's see how it goes. So. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.